My name is Steve Smith. This is TQA Weekly, and if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or drop it down below in the comments on YouTube. And if you want to continue helping me with this kind of show, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly where you can chip me a dollar or more per episode. I do up to five episodes per month where I answer your questions about technology without trying to completely burn down your wallet with answers that meet your needs. So not necessarily superhuman stuff that other channels will actually ask of you which don't necessarily fit in your budget and here is the thing this specific episode is targeted specifically to those like me that wants the flexibility of upgrading over a longer period of time but don't have the money to buy the x99-3 boards or the 2011-3 processors from intel because that would be way too expensive especially if you really want to spend your money on those graphics cards. So here's the thing. Is three-way SLI possible with only 16 PCI Express lanes? The answer is generically no. And the answer is very simply explained. So first of all, you go to Intel Arc or AMD's equivalent, most of the processors will only have 16 PCI Express lanes. Skylake being the exception, they have 20. We're gonna focus on the Z97 because those are the ones that you'll get for less money right now and they will only be able to support 8X of, or eight PCI Express lanes per car because they will have, you know, only 16 lanes available for each of the graphics cards. Which means you couldn't really run more than two cards unless there is something different about your motherboard. So if you had a motherboard like the, Z97 Pro Wi-Fi AC or Z97-WS from Asus, which have a PLX chipset, which allows you to multiplex or double the amount of PCI Express lanes available to the motherboard, allowing you up to four graphics cards and SLI at eight lanes per card. And this is achievable because the PLX chipset does a little bit like your telephone switcher, where they only connect what is required as of now. This does impose a CPU overhead because it's not native PCI Express lanes as opposed to the ones that would have been expected from a typical configuration, such as having the actual native connections available from a 32 lane 2011 3 processor. However, the thing is, is the board will still only cost you 300 bucks, not 600 to seven, the processor, I suggest an i7-4790K, which can overclock, which is only $400, and obviously about American. And you, know, you only need to spend, what, $150, $200 bucks if you can, or less, if you can find it on special for all of these parts to be able to achieve a three-way SLI system. So it's still coming out at a lot less than trying to copy an X99-3 configuration, which will put you in the really high thousands of dollars before you're even finished building out your system. Obviously your power supply is gonna be more expensive. You do have to look at the manual to see how much power you would need for your main board if you were going three-way or four-way SLI. But the information's usually in the main board manual. And of course, if you're buying an 80 plus power supply, it will be a lot more power efficient, especially if you buy a 900 series graphics card at the same time. Yes, it's going to be expensive, but it will not be anywhere near as expensive as going full out crazy on an X99-3 system instead. So, I hope that answers your question of how you can achieve a three-way SLI with only 16 PCI Express lanes. And the answer is with the PLX chipset supported on the main board that you do in fact choose. While I did suggest the Z90, Z97 or Z97 line, this is because you're gonna actually get those lines for cheap because the Z170 and the DDR4 lines are the current lines that are coming out. So you'll get the DDR3 RAM at a, how do we say, reduced price as well as the Z97 boards as they will be trying to liquidate them as well at the same time. So. I hope this answers your question. Like if you liked it, disliked if you don't, tell me why down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And for those who've already forgot, you can go to patreon.com 
slash TQA Weekly to ship me a dollar more per episode to help me make this show better and better every single week. So that is four to five episodes per month. Have a great day and good night.